Tom, somebody's been using my name and to disregard anything and everything they hear from me, except this, of course. Don't ask questions. Do as you're told. Don't argue with me, you French moron. Do as you're told and unpack. We're not going. Steady, boss. Take it easy. What do you mean, take it easy? Do you realize I'll be the laughing stock of New York? I always knew Beverly Carlton was low, but not this low. Why? Why? Why would anyone in the world want to play a silly trick like this? I can't understand it. Do you, Sherry? Do you, Maggie? Why would he walk right out of here, go straight to a telephone booth, and try and send me to South Carolina on a fool's errand? There must be some reason. Why would Beverly Carlton or anyone else for that matter want me to? Oh, I think I begin. Of course, of course, that's it. Yes, and that's a very charming bracelet Mr. Jefferson gave you, isn't it, Maggie, my dear? It makes complete sense now. And to think that I nearly... Well, wild horses couldn't get me out of here now, Maggie. And if I were you, I'd hang on to that charming little bracelet, my dear. It'll be something to remember him by. All right, Mr. Whiteside, it's almost time. Hook him up, boys, and start okay. testing, will you? Well, give us a hand with the furniture here. We want to move it out of the way. Miss Cutler, here's some new Come, Daisy. Are we coming in, New York? Testing. Right. One, two, three, four. Mary had a little lamb. One, two, three, four. Mary had a little lamb. Here comes the Jefferson one, two, three, special. Four. Oh, have we time? Oh, I'm sure we have, Mr. Jefferson. I'm not leaving after all. My plans are changed. Really? Oh, that's good. And you can read the play to me tonight, Mr. Jefferson, will you? We'll go back to the mansion house right after dinner. Well, I should say so. I'd be delighted. Maggie, did you hear that? Say, I'll bet you did this. You arranged the whole thing. It's well, not it's that fine. guilty expression, Sherry. It's not a guilty expression. Simply that I haven't had my breakfast yet. Now, Maggie, if you'd only listen to reason. I'm taking the one o'clock train. I'm leaving. You're doing nothing of the kind. Here are your keys. Your driver's license. The key to the safety vault is in your apartment in New York. I'm going in here now and clear things up. Now, just a moment, Sarah Bernhardt. Where were you until three o'clock this morning? I sat up half the night at this station wagon worrying about you. You heard me calling to you when you came in. Why didn't you answer me? Look, Sherry, it's all over and you won. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come, 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 come. What are you trying to do? Make me feel like a naughty, naughty boy? Honestly, Maggie, sometimes you could be very annoying. Sherry, you're quite wonderful in a way. You're annoyed. I wish I had a laugh left in me. Shall I tell you something, Sherry? I think you're a selfish, petty egomaniac who would just as soon see his mother burning at a stake if, well, if that was the only way he had of lighting a cigarette. I think you'd sacrifice your best friend without a moment's hesitation if he interrupted the sacred ritual of your self-centered, paltry little life. I think you're incapable of any emotion higher up than your stomach. And I was the fool of the world forever trusting you. Well. As long as I live, I'll never do anyone a good turn again. I shan't ask you to apologize, Maggie, but six months from now, you'll be thanking me instead of berating me. Sherry, in six months' time, I'll be so far away. Jerry came to the rescue of He thinks Niles killed my brother. Did they meet? Jim left. Then Niles came into the house, got his gun, and went after him. Hmm. You're so okay. thanks. Look, Niles is smarter man than that to tangle with Jim. Please, Ben. You must find them and stop them. Our Mexican hand is taken can tell you where to look. Well, I'll try to find them. One of them. Laurie. Jim took it bad when you told him about Niles, didn't he? I'd rather not discuss. It's no pleasure for me either. Look, why don't you face facts? You're the one who can stop Jim, just like that. How? By telling him you still love him. What are you afraid of? I can't do that to Niles. Why? You cheat your husband every day you live with him, pretending you love him when all the time you're sick with wanting another man. That's a lie! You can listen to me. You can save Jim and Niles, too. Find Jim. Tell him you love him. I love my husband. You married him because you needed him. In your place, I'd have done the same. 